Let it go, let it go. Frozen, <laughs> I'm not. It's in the fridge, isn't it, with Chris? Come on, get yourself in. Here we go, I've got some treats for you guys today. Right, what we got then? So, these have come in. We've got some lovely Greek-inspired pork kebabs. Now then, you can get these on your barbecue, or you can roast them off in the oven. We've got some mushrooms coming in as well, so maybe you could put the mushrooms on the skewers. You could have mushrooms and pork kebabs. Make yourself a nice little yogurt dip with some mint. We've got lots of yogurt going out on the vans as well. So we've got that. There's your pork dinner sorted out. Ribeye steak. Now, steak is lovely. We all love a bit of steak. Treat it with a bit of kindness, a bit of respect. But you don't just have to have it like a steak. You can cook it, slice it up, pour it in a bit of broth. So like make yourself up a nice little veg broth. Put in some noodles or some bean sprouts. And you've got a nice sort of Asian inspired little beef broth there. So there's plenty you can be doing with that one as well. Now, oh, hang on, let's bring that pork back. Look what we found here. We've got some crunchy coleslaw, a little crunchy kit of coleslaw, all prepared for you. So what you can do is you can pair them two together. You've got your mushrooms, you've got your pork, you've got a nice little salad, make up your own dressing, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of acidity. So maybe I'm thinking some lemon juice, three parts olive oil, one part acidity. So squeeze a lemon, shake it up in a jam jar, dress your coleslaw, serve it alongside your lovely kebabs. We've got some watercress, watercress yet again absolutely delicious. Now there's bags of this coming out, you can make uh, yourself a lovely watercress um, soup. It's watercress, spinach uh, and rocket there. This would go lovely with your steak as well, so think peppery flavours, think your steak there, so you, again you could slice up the meat have it as a sort of salad as opposed to just having steak and chips so we've got that going on we've got pork loin now this uh, pork loin steaks these are quite actually lean there's little bits of fat in there but you can take that out or you can just leave it in for flavor personally what i like to do with this is i like to put a bit of hoisin sauce on a bit of soy sauce uh, and then basically what i do is add a splash of water some veg stock i brown it all off in a pan first of all um, a little bit of star anise or anything sort of aniseed a bit of fennel or something pop it in your slow cooker or pop it in the oven on a really low heat cover it up and it'll be really really soft and tender serve that with rice you can have a sort of chinese glazed pork here bit of a uh, business going on there if you like so give that a go or again you can get these on the barbecue pair them with things like apple so pork and apple like best friends that's a cardboard box there's not a lot you can do with that anyway here we'll go moving on to the chicken so look at these eh we've got some delicious free range chicken and look at that right so roast chicken we know that you can have a roast chicken dinner what else can you do with it well it's barbecue season like i say so you can spatchcock this you basically cut it down press it so it's flat put a load of smoked paprika cumin on uh, roast it in the oven with some lemons say uh, cut up some garlic that would be delicious um, if you're a bit adventurous, then what you can do is you can joint it so you can take off the legs, make yourself like a chicken chasseur or something, use the breast meat for something else. So there's quite, uh, quite a lot you can be doing with that one. Fill it full of herbs, fill it with a, a lemon in there, cook it as a roast uh, chicken, then basically cut all the meat off it. And you can make it into a lovely salad, that would be nice as well. Or again, you can take off the, the breast uh, meat and you can add that to a nice veggie broth with some noodles, uh, with some bean sprouts and have like an Asian chicken um, broth that would be really nice and fresh and fragrant and look at this we've actually got some fresh herbs coming as well so we've got absolutely delicious coriander so there's quite a few things you can do with this as well obviously it goes well with salads also with the Asian food the stir fries etc but I'm thinking get the meat off that even if you cook it first and then shred it put it in a bit of vegetable stock with some coriander with some noodles, uh, with some bean sprouts, some chilli, bit of lemongrass if you've got any, get adventurous, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, or again, why not do your steak, cook it, slice it up, bit of coriander, in a bit of uh, beef broth, uh, so your beef stock cube, uh, you can put in some broccoli, tender stem broccoli, some green beans, which we've got in as well. So there's loads you can do with them few things, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm excited, I'm going up the kitchen, I'm going to get cooking some of these because it's just amazing. Right lads, that's us done. Let's get out of here. It's a little bit chilly.